Hey what's up guys welcome to another tutorial of PHP and MySQL series and in today's video I'm going to teach you that how you can retrieve data from your server using Ajax and display that data on your website and the whole process will be implemented without refreshing your web page without any delay let's start as you know that in previous video we were created this HTML file so first of all let me close all the files and first of all we have to create here another file name like fetch.php and here i will type like php opening tag here and that's it so we have create a file on our server next i will create here another file like display data.php or suppose if I want to remove this one what we can do suppose we want to display data on the same page like in our home page here I will type my folder name which is right now Ajax and you can see that this was the folder that we created and suppose if I create a button here like I will copy this button from here and paste this as this position and here I will type like load data so now you can see that here we have another button i am going to give id to this button like load data and its class would be btn primary which will turn our button to this blue shape so we have created a button with id load data now what we have to do i will simply copy this complete code and paste here again and from here i will remove these two values because we don't need this i will change the type of my request to get and i will change the url to fetch.php the file that we have created on our server and similarly uh, i'm not going to pass any data so i will remain this field empty or i can type here action like get underscore data and similarly this would be our success function which I'm going to comment the whole one later we will use that and from here or let me remove this one from here and also I'm going to remove the error function uh, I mean this console.log from here so this is basically our simple Ajax request and we have to put this request on click on our button that we have created now I will copy this ID and paste this ID at this position so we have set on click listener to our button who have ID load data so when our user will click on load data button our this Ajax request will be called and this Ajax request will be sent to our server to a file named fetch.php that we have created here so that's it first of all what I will do I will just console not console.log but first of all we have to do one thing I have to design a table here to display my data what I will do I will open a new tab here and write here like bootstrap tables I will open the this WC schools link and from here let me choose okay suppose I want to use this one I will click on try it yourself and from here I need to just copy this container class from here or I can copy this table class only because we have container available already so I will copy this open our HTML code and we know that this is the code of the form that we have created or let me type here one thing again I'm going to remove this paragraph and I'm going to create a div again with class container container is a bootstrap class here I will paste the data that I have copied from wcschools.com now I will open my browser refresh my page you can see that a table is displayed to our screen maybe suppose I want to give some margin top I can type here a bootstrap class name empty5 so you can see that it will okay I should use empty4 or let me type here randomly CSS because I don't have time to figure it out 
so I will type here like margin top 20 pixel okay now margin is implementing I'm going to give 40 pixel margin so you can see that this is simply data this is dummy data that we have displayed at this position so what I'm going to do first of all I will remove these two rows from here refresh the page now you can see that we have sim uh, this single row now what we'll do we will use this table row but before that we have to open fetch.php and here we have to write the code to retrieve data from mysql server and what i am going to do i will type here like include once db database.php we have to include this database.php file so i can use my this connection in fetch.php the reason that we have defined a separate database.php and include in our fetch.php because when you suppose you are building your project on local server and then you have to move this project to a live server and if you will copy and paste this code in multiple places of your code you will need to make these changes your server name username password and database name everywhere so because we have write it in a single place right now so if you move your project to live server you just have to make these changes only on single place so that's why we have to create a separate file and now we can include that file in fetch.php and next what we have to do i will type here uh, query is equal to but before query i can type here if is set dollar underscore get the data that you will send from your ajax request in this part you can get this data in key value forms in your super globals so you can now so you know that we are sending data through get request so we can get this data through dollar underscore get super global and i will type here dollar underscore get and action so i means if action key is set what you have to do you have to perform a query here i will write query let select all from or right click type here local host php my admin and in your php my admin we know that we have a database named find gap and inside this database we have a table named tbl underscore students so i will write the name of table here like tbl underscore students and similarly i will press semicolon here and next i will run the query like mysql like query and here we have to pass the connection that we have defined in our database.php file and the second parameter we have to pass our query i will press here semicolon now what we have to do is simply i will type here if mysql i num rows dollar run and inside this we will write our further code so what basically this lines means basically this is our query and here we are executing our query and now this is a php built-in function that will check that either our above query is returning some records or not if yes this if statement will be executed and here we can write our while statement here i will type here row is equal to mysqli fetch array and inside this i will pass my run variable that we have defined at this position basically we just need to do simple thing i will open index.php file just cut this code from here and paste that code at this position here i will type echo double quotes like this again i will type here echo double quotes and semicolon and same step we have to do for our remaining lines so you can see that we just have wrapped our html code in echoes because whatever this page will be print that printed uh, page will be received to our ajax request here so we are just printing this row and instead of john i can type here like row and I think I need to concatenate that concatenate this I will type here double quotes double dot and here I will type row and I will click on TBL students 
the first thing we have to retrieve is id so i will type here like id in single quotes and similarly i will copy this and paste at this position and here i will type my second column name which is basically name and the last thing we have to display is the password of our user so i will do the same step like just copy this paste this here and here i'm going to type like password so that's it now what we have to do is in the index.php first of all i will just console dot log the data i means the data that we will receive from our server uh, there is no formatter available here so it is not formatting my code so now I have to open my browser refresh here I will press F12 to open the console and now you can see that I'm on my network tab when I will press on this load data button you can see that an Ajax request here you can click on this request and inside the response section you can see that we are getting the same data in the fr uh, from our database this is printed in our HTML form basically whole HTML that we echo in our this fetch.php we are just restraining that HTML as it is in our response and if you want to console uh, I think we have consoled that data you can see that we have consoled this data uh, so this is the same data that we have printed in our fetch.php now we have to do one thing I will type here one line only I will give an ID here to my T body like table body so I have assigned an ID to my T body tag and I will copy this ID from here and I will type here like dollar first of all I will get that element using jQuery and here I have to type dot HTML and simply I need to pass this data inside this let me comment this and first of all let me reload my page so you can see that nothing is happens but when I will click this load data button you can see that our whole data from our database is retrieved successfully at this position we can change these headers like in the uh, index.php I will scroll up and here I will type like ID name and password let me refresh and now when you you will see that when I will again type load data button you can see that without reloading the page our data has retrieved from our server and we are displaying that on our website if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching